we all have seen many types of this kind of signs. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the same material, which is called a chloroplast, to build a foldable boat in about 6 hours. It will cost you between $90 to $150. Thanks for coming to today's uh, Make a Fair program. My name is Hong Wong. I'm a computer engineer. I have invented many things in my life, and I filed over 100 patents before I retired. Now I focus my innovative energy in building boats and other fun stuffs. You can visit my YouTube channel to see other fun stuffs. But today, I'm focused in sharing my experience in boat building. You are welcome to contact me after this show. I'm not trained in boat building. But when I was a kid, I lived by the sea and would really like to have a boat. I came from a very poor family, and at that time, I can only dream about having a boat. Now, things have changed. I can afford a boat, but my wife prefers to see her car in the garage than my boat. I have two options. One is to fulfill my lifelong dream by keeping the boat in the garage and get rid of my wife. Option two is, maybe I can get a foldable boat. Obviously, I picked option two. A foldable boat costs over a thousand dollars. I might as well use that money to build different types of boats, and also pass my knowledge to those who cannot afford it and able to copy my design. Therefore, I upload many videos on YouTube teaching people how to build boats. And I also welcome your questions, and I'll try my best to answer those too. I'm showing you a variety of boats I've built in the last two years. And I have more ideas for different types of boats or different way of building boats. And that will keep me busy for the next probably three years. And my objective is trying to build a boat that is cost effective. For this coming years, I will focus on the performance aspect of boats. All the boats I built are very light. It's between 15 pounds to 30-ish pounds, except the catamaran, which is uh, 50 pounds, including the sail. The very first boat I built took me 45 minutes to assemble. My Gen 8 kayak took me around three minutes to put it together, and then I can use it in the water. You have to handle the boat like an inflatable boat, and not to drag it on the floor. Otherwise, it's much stronger than the inflatable boat. For the first time boat builder, I would suggest building this two-seater boat. It may not look good, but it's very practical, and it's so light you can just leave it and dump it into the water. It is also very stable. It's very handy for doing fishing. You can sit too in a boat on the rivers, it takes about six hours to build this boat. Actually, it took more time to round up the materials than building a boat like this. I have tried to use this boat in the river where there are many motor boats, and it was able to handle all the wicks. It worked well with a small trolling motor too, and we did have a fun time. If there's any tear on the boat, it can be fixed easily by putting a Gorilla Tape on top of the tear. For more permanent repair, you can fuse a small piece of Coral Plus on top of the tear. This is the plan for the boat. It is 5 feet by 10 feet. Most of the time you can only get 4 feet by 8 feet. I will show you in this video how you can fuse a few pieces of this smaller size cropper sheet to make a bigger sheet so that you can make a much bigger boat. You will see different set of fold lines here. 
there are two fold lines here, which are used to fold the corpus together for transportation. And all the other fold lines are used to form the boat, which I am going to demonstrate how it's being done. I use a paper to illustrate how I fold the boat together. Step one is to transfer the fold lines onto the corpus sheet. Then I use a tool to create the fold lines. Later part in this video, I will show you exactly how I did it. Here I am showing you how to fold the corpus sheet together for transportation. The final size is 5 feet by 3.5 feet. The overall thickness should be less than 1 inch. I can create more complex folds and make the overall size even smaller if I want to. You don't need many tools to build a boat like this. You need a tape measure, a straight edge. To make the fold line, try to make use of the cement joint on the floor. And here I show you how to make a fold line. You need a heat gun, which costs you about $9. Or you can use a powerful hair dryer. Put the corpus sheet on top of the fold line. I place two wood pieces on both sides of the fold line to confine the heat. I use the handle of the wrench, make sure it's smooth. Please wear gloves to protect your hand. Please do this in a well ventilated area and avoid sucking in any films coming from the coral plus when it's being heat. You may want to wear a respirator to protect your lung. For 4 mm thick coral plast, you don't really have to apply a lot of heat because it's thin and it should be really easy to bend. Because I'm working with 6 mm thick coral plast sheet, Therefore, I create a better tool. I use the inline scale wheel. I sharpen its edge to create a better V-shaped wheel. I mount it onto a sheet of metal. And I create this roller. You may count how many times I have the heat gun going over the joint for your reference if one day you have to do something like this. I've been making many boats. 
Therefore, this role is very really useful for me. For you, you may not need to spend the time and effort to make a roller like this. After you create a fold on the corpus, I suggest you try to flip it back and forth a thousand times, and you shouldn't see any changes to this folded joint. My mechanical engineer friend called this as a living hinge. At first, I cut a V groove on a piece of a 2 by 4 by 8 feet long wood so that I can lay the corpus on top and create a fold line. Later I found out that it's so much easier just use the cement fold joint to make the line. The first time folding the bolt into a bolt shape takes some effort and I usually use clamp to hold it in shape overnight or even for a few days and it will retain its form so much easier. But after a few times of folding, unfolding, it becomes very easy. Two copper sheets together by ultrasonic welder, but those welders cost money. I come up with something I call the hot fusing technique, so that I can join two or more sheets of copper together. Compared with the ultrasonic welder, which will leave many holes on the surface of the copper sheet, and also it may not provide a very watertight seal at the joint. The method I come up with uh, provide a much smoother surface and also watertight. And I believe I'm the first one come up with this idea to fuse the copper sheet together. I haven't seen any other documentation on the web or people teaching others using the similar technique. I do have more information about this technique on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go and check it out. This is the project I am working on, a much bigger boat. I estimated the overall size of the corpus sheet has to be 7 feet by 13 and a half feet. In this video, I will demonstrate how I fuse a 5 feet by 10 feet corpus to a 4 and a half feet by 7 feet corpus sheet. Please pay attention to the channel directions of sheet 1 and sheet 2 of the corpus. The reason I am doing that is because once it's folded together and form a bolt, I want to have a watertight seal at the joint area, and I don't want the water to be able to go into the channel. And I have to do a fold line. This helps me to fuse two sheets together, and you will see why later. Please do this in a well ventilated area, and also may wear a respirator to protect yourself. I fused the both ends of the corpus sheet so. Both sheets will be stationary and will not move around while I'm going through the fusing process. I've done some simple tests on the strength of the fused joint. You may go to my YouTube channel to check it out. I place a sheet of cardboard there so that the nozzle of the heat gun will not touch the bottom corpus. I'm repeating this process. The corpus sheet are overlapped by about 6 inches. In the future, I will consider just doing 4 inches because the angle where I shoot the heat between two corpus sheets is very narrow. It's difficult to have a good fusion if the overlap region is 6 inches wide. In my YouTube channel, I have other applications for this fusion technique, such as I use it to make rudder daggerboard. I also fuse the two layers of corpus to form the gunnel and make the wall of the boat much stronger. I plan to use this technique to make a cargo box for my car. This method created a joint so much stronger than using glue or using tapes.
and it doesn't cost money, and I can create a watertight joint instantly. And I flip the sheet over to check out both sides of the fused joint. The floor design of the two seats is very different. I used a 2 inches pink foam sheet to create a floor. I used the coral plus sheet to wrap around the pink foam. This mainly is to protect the foam when I step onto the floor. It also strengthens the floor. I used the leftover paint foam to create two rectangular blocks and I used those as seats. I wrap it in two black garbage bags. The straps placed across the width of the boat create a fairly robust structure holding the sides of the boat together. One of the design goals of the two seaters is to support payload of 500 pounds and I've tested it with 400 pounds and it felt very solid and stable. I hope you find today's videos interesting. If you have further questions, please feel free to send me an email to this address. Please subscribe and you will be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching.